The giant of the Galapagos Islands, an overgrown gecko, huge snakes, unusual crocodiles, and not only. In this episode, I'll show you the largest and most dangerous reptiles in the world, which will impress you. Let's go. I don't know what was in the minds of the people in this video, but they consciously decided to start hunting a giant snake that was hiding in the ground. Waiting for it to crawl out was impractical, so the guys resorted to a faster but also more dangerous method. They began to carefully dig up its house, getting closer and closer to it. Then they doused it with water, covered its head and placed it in a bag in which they then dragged it to a more secluded place. To be honest, this is the first time I've ever seen people handle a giant snake so deftly and quickly. It seemed to me that catching them was a much more dangerous thing. But maybe it's just a unique case that the slithering creature was completely calm. By the way, I came across a picture on the internet, also on the subject of catching snakes. Its authors claim that it's real, although I find it hard to believe. Do you think that if such a snake was really found, did it resist? Or was it as docile in the snake in our story? Share your thoughts in the comments. What you definitely can't call a calm and harmless snake is the king cobra. King cobras are always like that. Not for nothing, they occupy the highest places in the hierarchy among snakes and are also the largest among venomous snakes in the world. Because of their aggressive and, in some respects, even uncompromising behavior, a legend had appeared among the locals like it's not only the largest but also the most venomous snake. Well, it's not. The most venomous is the inland taipan, with venom a hundred times more powerful than that of the king cobra. But don't think that because of this, the king cobra is not dangerous. It can still send a person to kingdom come with just one bite. In addition, some individuals of this species can reach almost 20 feet in length, which is beyond comprehension. And the larger the snake, the more dangerous and wiser it is. After all, these creatures grow their whole life for 30 years. If you absolutely don't want to have a problem with them, then just don't end up in caves and burrows and don't climb trees. Although, what am I even talking about? King cobras can be anywhere in search of food and there will be no hiding from them. The queen of venomous snakes can rise above the ground by a third of its body. In this way, it tracks down prey and at the same time shows its dominant status to other individuals. At the same time, one will not deceive it either, because this reptile has great eyesight. It perfectly sees prey at a distance of up to 325 feet, and if eyesight's not enough, its tongue helps it navigate. The forked tongue of the king cobra, like the nose of a dog, catches the faintest smell. Also, the snake is extremely sensitive to vibrations of the Earth's surface, and they can assess who and from where they're coming. Dominator the Crocodile this is the name of a saltwater crocodile who surprises all eyewitnesses with its size. The 20-foot-long crocodile was caught on camera when he jumped out of the water in front of a boat of tourists, scaring everyone who was on board at the moment. After all, if he wanted, this big guy could easily sink the boat and then eat a couple or three tourists. Fortunately, none of this happened. Dominator was full. The locals feed him daily for a reason. So he jumped out to entertain people, or at least to say hello to them. By the way, have you ever wondered what allows crocodiles to dominate for tens of millions of years? Why are they so strong? And why are there few creatures that can oppose them with anything? In fact, there are many answers to this question. First, it's about their body shape, which has remained unchanged since their appearance. However, the muzzle and teeth have constantly adapted to different conditions and changed their shape. In addition to perfect teeth with matching jaws, crocodiles have the most powerful bite in the world, which means that if someone's caught in their jaws, there's no way to get out. It's believed that crocodiles acquired such an incredible bite for a reason. It's because of the way they hunt. They spend all their time living underwater with only their eyes sticking out. It's important for them to sneak up unnoticed and then deliver a single, but as strong and effective blow as possible. Dominator, as I said, is the saltwater crocodile, the largest terrestrial or coastal predators of modern times. 
Males of this species can reach a length of 20 to 23 feet with a mass of about two tons. And since they're among the largest animals in the world, their bite is to match. Thus, the saltwater crocodile is the owner of the most powerful bite in the terrestrial animal world. The compression force of the jaws of an adult that weighs more than a ton is about 35,000 newtons, which is equivalent to a force of three and a half tons. Galapagos tortoise. It's logical that the name appeared because of their habitat, which was the islands of the same name. The islands appeared not so long ago, five to 10 million years ago, and during this time, the Galapagos tortoise successfully rested on them. It was able to isolate itself from the rest of the world and evolve well, acquiring a lot of unusual features and abilities. Let's start with the fact that representatives of the species can reach the age of 100 years, although some individuals can live even more than 170 years. Nothing is impossible. Along with this, they're not some miniature creatures that live so long because they hide from all the problems. On the contrary, the Galapagos tortoise is the largest land tortoise currently living and the tenth largest of all living reptiles in terms of weight. It can reach a weight of 880 pounds and be about six and a half feet long. Such a big creature feeds on plants, including those that are poisonous to other animals. Therefore, in fact, the turtle does not make enemies. Gharial. I'm sure that many of you hear about this reptile for the first time, and you know, there's nothing strange about it. Little is known about this creature from the crocodilians order, but this only makes it more interesting. The gharial is a creature that resembles a classic crocodile in its appearance, but in fact, it does not look like it. The first thing that catches the eye is the long, narrow face of the gharial. If you take the width of the body of this creature and increase it three times, you'll get the length of its snout. Interestingly, the length increases with age. Accordingly, the older the individual, the longer its face. By the way, these individuals also have interesting bows. Only males have outgrowths and they need them to attract females. Almost all the time gharials hang out in the water, they're almost invisible, and then they open their mouths and rush in some direction. Don't be afraid, they're not going to attack anyone. It's a technique during which they only remove excess heat. Such a swim usually lasts no more than 10 to 15 minutes. However, you should not stop being afraid of them. Gharials are not as aggressive as common crocodiles, but still dangerous, primarily because of their sharp teeth. Fortunately, usually their target is fish of absolutely any size. No other crocodile has as many teeth as the gharial, so it's able to eat any target. In addition, it's also incredibly difficult to swim away from it. The Komodo Dragon or Komodo Monitor There are a few names of this creature, and they all reflect one thing. A strength and steadfastness of the great predator few creatures can deal with. The Komodo Dragon is the largest of the currently existing lizards and the heaviest modern representative of the scaled reptiles order. Some individuals of this species can grow up to 13 feet in length and weigh more than 285 pounds. A hefty size, the Komodo Dragon easily hunts other large animals such as boars or deer. It waits until they're within its reach and then it runs out to encounter them with lightning speed and bites their ligaments. It does this so the target can't get far away from it. And then it's just a matter of technique. The Komodo Dragon has a strong natural defense, as well as sharp teeth with a powerful bite. It will not be difficult to cope with the immobilized target. By the way, although its bite is not the most powerful in the world, its effect is enhanced by the presence of toxins in the saliva of the animal. New Caledonian Giant Gecko when you hear these four words, you probably imagine someone really big. But believe me, to be considered a giant, one doesn't need to have gigantic size. It's enough to be a sneaky gecko, which usually doesn't exceed 16 inches in length along with the tail. It lives on the islands of New Caledonia, where it's constantly undercover. I'm talking about its camouflage color, of course. It's also grown nice suction cups on its legs paws, which allow it to easily climb any trees. By the way, it can climb at night. In this, it's helped by night vision eyes. Giant eyes catch the slightest source of light, which allows the gecko to navigate in seemingly pitch darkness. 
And here the situation is already more serious. The person's not on a boat but in the water, in the element of sharks. It was fishing for yellowfin tunas and attracted the attention of two Galapagos sharks. These are dangerous sharks for humans, so the underwater hunter got into trouble. He had to fight off predators, but fortunately his skills were enough. Not only did he fend off all the attacks, but he also saved a valuable catch. A real pro! Surfer In this video, we see surfer Mick Fanning, who was at the competition. Mick was preparing for the performance when suddenly a terrible tragedy almost happened live. A shark suddenly swam up to the surfer from behind and tried to attack the athlete. Mick sensed something was wrong only after he heard the shark dive. In a panic, Mick began to beat the shark with his hands and feet. He quickly fell off the board as it was turned over by the shark and remained in the water until he was rescued by a rescue team. Fortunately, the athlete was not injured, although he was very scared. The competition also had to be canceled. The shark stole the show. Sharks attack people, and that's undeniable. But still, they don't attack swimmers and fishermen as often as is commonly believed. Still, much more often, they attack other sea creatures, either to hunt or to defend themselves. Here the former occurs. In one California bay, a shark decided to hunt right in front of an amazed public. Apparently, the shark's prey was a seal. Although it, too, is a predator, it doesn't stand a chance against the hungry, predatory shark. Octopus And here we can see clearer and more impressive footage. In the video, we can see the slender bamboo shark, a predator that usually searches for its prey at the bottom. This time, the prey was the poor octopus. The hungry shark pounced on it, pressed it to the seabed, and began to deal with it. Sand rose, and it was at this moment that the predator subdued the mollusk and swallowed it whole. After that, it showed off a little on camera and went in search for new food. Ray of course, sharks are formidable predators in the wild, but they don't lose their hunting skills even in captivity. This was proved by the next animal from the episode, the hammerhead shark. In one of the aquariums in the USA, it didn't share something with its neighbor, a ray, and decided to teach it a lesson. The shark swam a little with the ray in its teeth, after which it began to bite its disc-like body. After a few seconds, it managed to bite off part of the ray, after which the predator finally left it alone. Dolphin Sharks do not like dolphins. These mammals swim in groups and jointly repel the attacks of predators. But if a dolphin is alone with a shark, then it can become its next prey. The battle unfolded right at the very shore on the local beach. The shark violently dealt with the dolphin, which somehow didn't please it. The dolphin managed to escape in the end, but apparently it received serious injuries. With them, it will be very difficult for it to survive in the dangerous ocean. Seal here, everything happens again at the very shore. Another seal got involved in a battle with a predatory and dangerous shark, which aimed to finish it off and eat delicious prey. Unlike a dolphin that can't get ashore, a seal can, which it did. However, the pinniped was also injured and, as eyewitnesses said, died soon after. And let's finish with something more positive, a video where everyone survived. This time, the protagonist of the video is a toothy alligator. It swam up to tourists in South Carolina who wanted to feed the reptile. Everything would be fine, but the shark, which swam in this place, decided to interfere with the alligator and bit its paw. It did it carefully enough. The alligator wasn't even hurt, but it was frightened, just like the tourists. Maybe the shark wanted to warn it not to take the tourist's food. Or maybe the two were good friends and the shark was just jesting at its toothy buddy. Who knows? Let's get back to snakes. Let's take a look at some creepy and dangerous moments featuring these reptiles. Delicious Lunch People are used to the fact that snakes are very dangerous creatures and it's better to avoid them. They can bite, right? But as practice shows, often they don't care about people. It'll be much more pleasant and useful for them to eat another, smaller creature. By the way, they do not disdain even their own congeners. So in this video, an ordinary American witnessed the real cannibalism of the snake world. The king snake has already swallowed the venomous eastern copperhead. Just a few minutes later, the body of the smaller snake was gone. Non-childish games You know, many people dream of having a house somewhere in the wilderness with open windows overlooking the ocean or the forest. But people don't think about the possible troubles that residents of such places already face on a regular basis. <laughs> In this video, for example, a man was babysitting a toddler. 
watching him while he was playing with toys on the floor. All of a sudden, a king cobra decided to visit them. The man, along with his eldest son, quickly took the baby with them, ran out of the room, and bolted the door. And then you can see how unhappy the creeping creature was. While usually these creatures are slower and calmer, in this video it was the exact opposite. The reptile was crawling around the room super fast, as if it were its own apartment. It was probably angry, and who knows how this encounter would have ended if the adult hadn't spotted the snake in time. I'll just take a look. This snake must have had those thoughts as it watched the mother and daughter swinging on the hammock. The reptile crawled in and stopped right in front of the house. You know, the scene is similar to many of those found in horror movies, when some maniac stands and watches his victim, and the victim has absolutely no idea what's really going on at that moment. So the snake stayed in such a maximally creepy stance for several minutes before the mother noticed it. The woman's natural reaction was to be frightened. She immediately took the baby with her and left the room, screaming. Write in the comments what do you think the snake was doing in their house, and what did it want? After all, when it realized that people weren't coming back, it left the house almost immediately and crawled away on its own. I wonder how long the woman was afraid to go back to that place and checked every corner where the creeping screamer could potentially hide. A small bite. And this is what happens when a human overestimates their capabilities and skills. The man in this video was playing with a snake in public. He spun it around, kept it from crawling away, and generally treated her in the worst possible way. So it decided to take the chance and get at least a little revenge. Because the man was not too confident in holding the head of the snake, he wasn't able to grab it properly with his hand, and it had time to inflict a protective bite. Don't worry, the man wasn't hurt because the snake was tamed and non-venomous. But I think everyone has already imagined some venomous monster in place of this harmless reptile and absolutely different outcome. Dangerous Stance Attention! If you ever see a snake anywhere in a stance like that, you better get away from it. I mean it. The whole point is that something like this could happen. By the way, I forgot to warn you about the screamer. I hope you're not wearing 3D glasses to watch this video. The following story began quite spontaneously. It was a normal sunny day, and the man was doing his usual things, watering his flowers and enjoying life. His beloved cat was also running around somewhere nearby. But then the family idol was ruined by an uninvited reptile. It crept up from somewhere to the left, from the bushes, and the first thing it did was to work out its aggression on the cat. Judging by its behavior, the snake wanted to devour the poor furball, but the owner noticed it in time. He turned around to see what was going on and found a huge snake next to his friend. Of course, the man intervened in this fight that almost started, picked up the cat, and then hid it in a secluded place at home. When the man was still confident in his actions, he thought of going alone to defeat the snake with his bare hands, just like in the movies, but he quickly changed his mind about it. And, you know, he did the right thing. The man went home too, and together with the cat, side by side, they simply waited out the snake's visit. Who knows, maybe the snake was venomous after all. Strange photo. And now I'm gonna show you a photo that my subscriber sent me. Some time ago, it went viral on the internet and forced Photoshop professionals from all over the world to participate in the investigation. The thing is, according to the author of the photo, all this is true, and he and his friends barely escaped the attack of some abnormally large snake, which is two or even three times the size of a human. Of course, not everyone believed in such fairy tales. <laughs> the picture was tested for Photoshop, and no one has received accurate information. Some are sure that this photo is still true, even though people have no idea where it could have happened. At the same time, others believe that it's fake, though it's pretty good. What do you think? Share your opinion in the comments below the video. Welcome! If some of you suddenly think that dangerous snakes can only sneak into a house somewhere in the middle of the trees or jungle, into a building somewhere by a river or so on, what do you say to that? It's the most ordinary house in the most ordinary town. There are cars driving along the roads, the woman's minding her own business outside the gate and having finished with them is about to return to the house. But then the new owner meets her at the entrance and says, Hello, how are you? I wasn't waiting for you. Luckily, the lady has a good reaction and, like Neo from The Matrix, dodges the bite. I don't know if that snake was venomous or not, 
But in any case, it's a good thing that everything ended well, and the creeping monster simply crawled away on its own business, showing no desire to settle down in the woman's house. This huge snake that a diver encountered says hello from Brazil. I don't know how the man had so much confidence in himself and in the snake, but he dared to swim up close to it and take very beautiful but creepy shots. The video shows the huge body of the creeping reptile, its speedy tongue, and its eyes. I wonder if these creatures never attack people underwater at all, and why it behaves so calmly. Share your thoughts in the comments. If you find yourself in some exotic country, I would not advise you to sit on a toilet bowl for a long time. It is, of course, a good thing and everyone loves it, but you have to take care of your own safety. But what can ever happen? As practice shows, a lot of things can happen. For example, a snake will crawl out of there and will be ready to do anything just to be on the surface. Even the bum of a human will not be a stumbling block for it. It remains a mystery how this reptile crawled up there in the first place and what it wanted. Of course, the people in whose house this creature was found didn't want to do anything with it due to the risk. The first thing they did was to call the appropriate service and they promptly subdued the reptile. I wonder how long after this incident the owners of the house looked into the toilet bowl before they sat on it. A gift from heaven. That's what I call what happened in this video. A confident and self-satisfied man squatted in the middle of the woods and wanted to record a vlog or shoot some Instagram stories. But Mother Nature decided to prank him and make a spectacular rain of snakes. <laughs> Luckily for the man, the rain was limited to just one snake, but that's okay, it'll be a good lesson for him. The main thing is that no one was hurt in this story. Iguana versus Snakes In the wild, a fight between a snake and an iguana is not uncommon. Although you can't really call it a fight, snakes simply catch iguanas in their teeth and wrap around the poor creatures until they lose the ability to move at all. You can see it now in the video. Many iguanas run away from one of the snakes, and more new snakes encounter them on the road. Let's follow this last protagonist here. It, like a true ninja, did everything right and simply escaped its own death in a crazy way. At first, the iguana simply showed the snakes that they couldn't catch up with it on a straight road. Then the lizard pretended to be dead, freezing right in front of the hunters. Because of the nature of their eyesight, the creeping creatures can't detect prey that's stationary. All in all, the plan might have worked, but the snake chose a strange path that ran too close to the iguana. This forced it to unfreeze and go on the run one more time. The lizard moved as fast as it could, trying to escape, but then, like its congener, our protagonist was intercepted. That's how it happens. You're euphoric and full of adrenaline, you're doing fine and everything goes well, and then, bang, you find yourself in the tenacious and gradually tightening paws of fate. But that's not about our lizard. Due to the fact that these snakes didn't have time to bite it properly, the iguana managed to slip out of their embrace and continue to escape. First, it jumped on one rock, and then on the second, it dodged several predator attacks and survived. It was a great chase. That's all, guys. Which snake moment scared you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.